friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to check out my order from Shine Sticker Studio. It's not super, super big, but um, there's some really cute stuff that she had. Um, and I think I ordered this right before the new release. Did I order this before or part of the new release? I think before. I don't remember. Um, the main part is obviously the sticker book. But, look, I did get a few stickers. I'm trying to not go crazy this year. If I've seen any of my recent videos, I've kind of hinted that I want to use stuff I have. But, I'm really, I really am excited about my new Hobonichi. I mean, I love my old one. But, um, Shine Sticker Studio makes kits for the Hobonichi. So, this is going to be my February monthly kit. Let me show you. Well, I'll show you how it works and maybe we'll just do it. That would be fun. Um, here is my January kit. So cute. Um, December is in a different book. Yeah, I messed around on that page. Um, so this is the Japanese version. She does the Japanese and the U.S. The English version of the A6. So there is my December one. This is January. And I thought I would use this for February because it's super cute pink and pastel and wintery. So we'll do that in maybe a minute here. A little mini plan with me. But here's a freebie for January. Very cute. It's got some Valentine's Day stuff. Oh, 2023. I'm going to have to find a home for that. I got some winter dates. This will fit, again, my planner. So it's got date covers, which is really helpful because I cannot read. The, none of them say, like, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, whatever. Um, some to-dos. These are just little strips. And then some tiny checklists, which are really good for this size. I also got some pastel winter washi strips. Those will fit. I have, like, the pastel, like, sampler that came out a little while back. And then I got this cute birthday one. I might use for Claire's birthday. I feel like I've said this multiple times. Um, maybe not. I can't decide <laughs> what I want to do. Her, it's just, I love celebrating, you know, my kids. and So I want to do something special. Um, let's see. Where is her birthday? this day so I could do this I will cover the whole page which is totally okay let's do it let's do it and then I won't be so indecisive I can always add some stickers let's go from this side uh, I have only once done a giant sticker I think in my old one okay it's a little crooked but that's okay. And then I'll do Claire's birthday on this page. Cute. Um, let's go back. Let's do February. Okay. So the idea is this strip should fit along the side. I think it covers the whole thing. Crooked, crooked. Oh, not too bad. Okay. And then along the top, these should fit over the dates. Or the days of the week, I should say. Uh, and if you haven't seen, like, my setup or anything like that, the reason I'm using the Japanese version is because they come in six months instead of 12 months. And this is my 12 month from last year. It's super, super heavy and fat and I really, really love it, but it's, it got really exhausting to carry around. So there's this little strip down here. That could go here. And this, you could put, like, notes or stuff for next month or whatever. And then, I think, 
I'll do this and I'll put February there. And then there's these cute little guys. Well, let's see. For Clara's birthday, let's do this green one. This, is this right? Oh no, Clara's birthday is in, okay, never mind. I'm so silly. For, um, we have two dentist appointments. <laughs> I was thinking we still had, um, her birthday, like a silly, okay. This month, and I'm going to have plenty of doctor's appointments and things. So, question is, what do I want to do with these three little guys? I would love to put them down here, but I also kind of don't want to. I kind of want to spread them out. Let's do one here. And yes, the appointment is on Valentine's Day. It's their kids. They don't care. <laughs> uh, the penguin there. And then let's put the snowman here, I guess. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I think I can just trim this. Yeah. And I'm going to save this so I can put in more appointments and things. Tuck that back here. Um, so I can put my appointments when they come up. And let's see. Let's fill this out. Clara's birthday. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. Okay, one is for one kid, one's for the other, because we had to change it, and they didn't have one together, and that's fine. Um, okay, here are those sticky notes. Valentine's Day. Cute. Okay, so what I'll do is find, obviously I have some other cute stickers. I'll add some, you know, this one's really cute, actually. Oh, God, I ripped it. Oh, no. Um, it says you are enough. Let's put that. Mm. Let's put it right there. I'm going to put deco in as the month goes on, I think. I didn't really do much over here, but I don't have as much in these colors. But I have plenty in these pastel colors, so. Yeah. This penguin's cute too, but it's got red. Um, so that's the plan. This probably would have fit too. It totally would have. But I'm gonna use that in my like spreads. And yeah, so I just really like that there's a simple little kit that overlays some of my stuff. And I do have some date covers. They're kind of, I think they're kind of big though. Let me see. Oh yeah, they're super, super big. I'm going to use that for something else. Maybe I'll throw a couple of these Jojo Apple print stickers on. This bunny is super cute. There's some cute snowflakes. And that'll give it a little more deco without being like Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh gosh. That's so nerve wracking. Okay. I'll probably add some more stuff in. There's some cute hearts too. <laughs> but for now, that should be good. Because I do have to write things in here, obviously. And it's a small calendar. So that's why I order those. I just really love them. 
I think they're so pretty. Okay, but I didn't take a picture for this. Okay, so the other thing, thing I really wanted the most was this reusable sticker book. And I'm going to show you why um, I have more stickers to go through in that box. But this one I got, oh, this is a smaller one. That's okay. This one I got for fall. And I put all my loose little sheets in here. So now I can just flip through and decorate. I don't have to, I've got everything together. So I can put stuff like this in there. I can put little things like that. I wouldn't put this one, but something little like this or like this one that I just used, I'll put. And this is my fall one. This will be my winter one. And then I think I have a couple that I can move things around and cover spring and summer. And then I'll have a general one. And I'll have a lot, all my small shop stickers in one place. Um, I can get rid of a lot of this bulky extra paper that all the sheets are on. It's great. I really, really love this. I know this wouldn't be for everyone. It looks like I have, I and maybe this will remind me not to buy stickers in the fall. Because look at all these stickers I have. <laughs> so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you make sure you check out Shine Sticker Studio, her stuff is awesome. If you have an A6 or a hope, she does different sizes, but not a lot of people do the A6. So that's part of the reason that I was so excited to order another kit. I'll probably keep ordering monthly kits for my planner, but otherwise, uh, I think that's it. I hope you guys are having a really great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.